It is time for Super Bowl 59. I did not think when we started this franchise mode that this would be the result of the first season of the Saints franchise mode, but, mode, but so be it. Ravens Saints Super Bowl 59 from the Superdome in New Orleans. The Saints become the third team in NFL history in the third and last four years to get the Super Bowl at their home stadium. Of course, the Buccaneers did it in 2020 and the Los Angeles Rams did it in 2021 as well. We have a couple things to go over before we get into the game itself. The first being all the dev trade upgrades we got going into next season and the Super Bowl applies as well. You see it on the screen right here. You've got Chris Olave. Now at a superstar dev trait, we will definitely take that. He was the second leading receiver in the NFL. Well-deserved for Chris Olave. Alvin Kamara is superstar once again. He is 29 years old. I don't know if that means he's gonna regress back into star in the off season, but for now, Alvin Kamara will be superstar for the Super Bowl. The surprising one to me, is Rashid Shahid. Yeah, Rashid Shahid has got superstar abilities now at 84 overall. Again, sometimes guys, if I think maybe because Shahid's not an 85, he might go back down to star in the offseason as well. That's just how it's been in previous Maddens. We look at the defense, we got some upgrades as well. Tyron Matthew is the first one. He is superstar. So again, this happens for all these guys as a result of us having a very good statistical season in the regular season, forcing fumbles, getting interceptions, yards for Olave, Shahid, and Kamara. So we've got Tyron Matthew, the Honey Badger, is now superstar. I think Abram was already star. He, I don't think, was he normal to start the year? I think he was, I think he was already normal. Or star, excuse me. Paulson Adebo was already superstar, but we got that midseason due to a dev trade upgrade game. And the final one being, if I can get to it in a second here on defense, not Marshawn Lattimore, he was already X-Factor. It is Kool-Aid McKinstry. In his rookie season, the rookie corner out of Alabama is superstar dev trait and a 91 overall for the defensive rookie of the year. My goodness. Oh man, our team is absolutely loaded. And whatever happens tonight, we have the off season tomorrow night here on the channel, folks. You're not gonna wanna miss that. And again, we are set up for the future very well here on this team because of the dev up trades that we did get. However, we are in salary cap hell tomorrow. And oh my goodness, we are going to have, we're going to have an adventure tomorrow on the offseason, regardless if we win this game or not, because again, we have to find a way to get out of salary cap hell and pay half our players. So our coach, good morning. It's Super Bowl week. Obviously a lot of preparation goes into the big game. A reporter tells us, um, can you talk to us about your players and how they've been pre pre preparing all week? Um, sure. Are we going to give an answer or what are we doing here? Quick question about we didn't take the question. He asked how you've been preparing. We just said, sure. Uh, I think this is talking about Ramschick. Uh, how has he been preparing? Pass blocking, run blocking. We, we're going to throw the ball a lot against the Ravens. Uh, we, we just said, sure. Okay. Um, I think that's going to do it. The Ravens are 15-2 and two in the regular season. I remember for a while there were two undefeated teams in the NFL, and it was us and, of course, the Baltimore Ravens. They only lost two games in the regular season. In the playoffs, they have beat the Houston Texans in the AFC Championship game, and they beat the uh, no, the, the Chiefs. They beat the Bengals 31-10. I did not, did not know the Chiefs lost 41-14. My goodness, to the Texans. Anyways, we get the Ravens tonight in the Super Bowl. Who will win Super Bowl 59? The Saints looking for their second in franchise history. The Ravens looking for their third. And folks, before we get into the Super Bowl, make sure to hit, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more Saints, Saints franchise mode here on the channel. My goodness, I can't talk. Earlier today, we posted our UFC Fight Night predictions. Tomorrow, we've got Bellator predictions. Tuesday, week two college football predictions. And on Wednesday, week one NFL predictions. We're, we're going to be predicting every single college football and NFL, NFL game this season. So you're not going to want to miss it. Let's do it right Ravens and Saints from the Superdome, Super Bowl 59. Super Bowl 59 from New Orleans, Louisiana. It is the 15 and two Baltimore Ravens taking on the 13 and four New Orleans Saints. Four quarters separate one of these two teams from being the next world champions. Will it be the Lamar Jackson led Baltimore Ravens or will it be Derek Carr's New Orleans Saints? One of these two teams, of course, somewhat expected to be in this spot or at least expected to be playing in this type of environment. I'm talking about the Baltimore Ravens for the Saints. No one expected this team to be in this spot at home 
for Super Bowl 59. But here we are, Ravens and Saints. Again, the winner, our world champions. Let's get it going from the Superdome. Justin Tucker will kick it off, and the New Orleans Saints will receive. They will have the football from their own 30-yard line, and here is the starting quarterback for the Saints, Derek Carr. Had a career season in 2024, 4,654 yards, 38 touchdowns with 17 interceptions. Third and seven for the Saints from their own 39-yard line. Derek Carr out the empty gun look after Kamara goes into motion. Carr looking for Olave. That ball is tipped. It will fall incomplete. And here comes Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, the reigning defending MVP yet again. Jackson throws an interception. Paulson Adebo steps in front of the route. And the Saints will take over deep in the Baltimore territory just like that. It was a career year for that man in 2024 as well, Paulson Adebo. He gets the Saints the ball back, but after a penalty, they're backed up to a third and 14. Derek Carr lucky to get it off. That ball falls incomplete. Blake Groupie comes out for a 42-yard field goal. He has been very shaky this season, but Groupie knocks that one in for the first points of Super Bowl 59. It's 3-0 New Orleans. Third and two for Lamar Jackson. He's going to find his man on the slant route. That is Rashad Bateman. It's a first down to the 41-yard line for Baltimore. Second and 10, Jackson out the gun. He will find Mark Andrews. He is brought down. No. Goats out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Third and three, Baltimore. Handoff to the King. King Henry. Derrick Henry gonna pick up again a seven, trucking his way forward. It will now be a first and 10 from the 27 yard line. To his right, Jackson finds Mark Andrews, and there is a touchdown for the Ravens. Just like that, they work the ball downfield and score the first touchdown of the game. It goes to Baltimore as New Orleans gets the football back from their own 28 yard line. It's gonna be a screen pass to Alvin Kamara. He's got a block upfield, cuts it back up. Kamara jukes out Kyle Hamilton and Humphrey as well. It'll be a first and 10 to the 39 yard line for New Orleans. Here comes Kamara in motion. Carr looking over the top. Take a shot, Chris Olave! The number one receiver for the Saints and the number two receiver in all of football gets in the end zone, throw it up to him, and odds on, he comes down with the football. 10-7, Carr to Olave. Jackson back with the football, and on a second and two, it's just a blown coverage upfield for the Saints, and Zay Flowers will go all 62 yards for the touchdown. Just like that, the Ravens retake the lead, 14-10. New Orleans back with the football from their own 46 yard line. Third and five for Carr. Gets it off, but incomplete. Baltimore gets it back now from their own 20 yard line. Jackson on a first and 10 play action fake. He's got a wide open Mark Andrews. Another blown coverage upfield for the Saints. Lamar Jackson, 176 yards passing in the first quarter. It is 14 10 Baltimore with the football. Second and four, Baltimore in the red zone. Jackson, quick hitter to the right to Mark Andrews. I got a feeling he's going to keep going back to him over and over again. A third and three, though, for Baltimore from the four. Jackson, quick hitter, Andrews, yet again. Touchdown, Baltimore. Andrews is second and a 21-10 score now in favor of the Baltimore Ravens. I mean, again, this is the pattern we've seen in every Saints game this season. High scoring affairs. We just got to make sure our offense can keep up against a very good Baltimore defense. Right there again, a 14 through the air. Carr to Kamara. First and 10 play action fake for Derek Carr. Going to his right, he will find a diving Rashid Shahid for the first down. Second and eight now from the 41 yard line. Hand off Alvin Kamara up the middle, bulldozing forward. He will get to a third and inches from the 34. Carr goes back on the ground to Kamara bounces off of our left tackle. Not a great run, but he finds his way towards the first down. Here comes now a first and 10 from the 33 for Carr. Out the gun, looking. He will find Rashid Sheed coming back inside. There's another pickup of 10 and a first for the Saints offense. Second and eight, Carr. Kamara in motion, looking to throw. Derek Carr escaping the pocket. He'll find Rashid Sheed. He's too fast for Marlon Humphrey, and he gets in for six. 21-16, now our score. The Saints will attempt the two-point conversion to cut the lead to three points, but Rashid Shahid is in the end zone, and here comes the two-pointer. Carr from under center finds Chris Olave, quick hitter. Touchdown or two-point conversion for New Orleans. Our new score, 21-18 in favor of the Baltimore Ravens, as Lamar Jackson and company will get the football back from their own 32-yard line. Here comes a third and four. Jackson play action fake, looking to throw. 
Don't know where the football is going right there, but it falls incomplete. We will take it. First and 10. The Saints get the football right back from their own 23. Carr waiting. Oh, he fumbles! Thankfully, it is recovered by New Orleans, but a huge setback on this drive for the Saints. As we see now, a third and 20. Carr just going to lob it up. Oh, Chris Olave with a grab! My goodness, Olave is torching this Baltimore defense. He keeps the drive alive. Second and nine car finds Rashid Shahid. It'll be now a third and one from the 46 yard line for this New Orleans offense. Car on the handoff to Alvin Kamara. There's your first down. So we got to look at the clock. Minute 13 left in the half. Car on a third and 10 looking, finding Rashid Shahid. He's brought down, but another first down conversion for New Orleans. 55 seconds to go in the half. Car dumps it off to Alvin Kamara. He's brought down at the 27 after a gain of seven here comes a third and three here comes a boot from Carr looking maybe had Olave upfield instead he just dumps off to Cedric Wilson for a loss of one and the Saints will have to kick a 45 yard field goal with Blake Groupie which he does make and we are tied now at 21 apiece Baltimore getting the football back with 25 seconds to go. They are going to push the pace. Jackson finds Mark Andrews upfield for a first down. Here comes Jackson again as he will find his tight end, Isaiah Likely, for the first down. Excuse me, Gerald Everett on that grab. First and 10 from the 47-yard line. Jackson to his left. Ball is caught. Don't know where Paulson Adebo is right there. First down to Zay Flowers. 13 seconds to go. Jackson from his own 20. Kool-Aid McKinstry with the sack. Baltimore's got no timeouts. And that will do it for the first half. What a huge stop by that New Orleans Saints defense to limit the Ravens on that drive and stop them from putting any points on the board. We are all knotted up at 21 apiece going into the second half. The Saints are right in this ball game. The Ravens get the football to start the second. So the Ravens back with the football here to kick off the third quarter. First and 10 handoff to Derrick Henry. Henry doing his thing. First down to the 38 yard line. Second and 14 now for Baltimore. Jackson going to his right. That ball will be caught. Zay Flowers looking at the separation. He's brought down by Kool-Aid McKinstry. Not before getting to the 40 yard line and into Saints territory. Second and seven. Jackson going to pull and keep on the read option. He's brought down by Pete Warner at the 35 yard line. And Jackson's injured. So here comes the veteran journeyman quarterback. He's played for 19 teams, give or take. Josh Johnson gets a gain of three, fourth and one. Johnson on a read option. He keeps and pulls. Oh my goodness. I, I thought that was going to Derrick Henry. So again, the veteran quarterback, 37 years of age, Josh Johnson now finds Rashad Bateman. He completes a pass in the Super Bowl. You might remember him from the NFC Championship game with the 49ers two years ago after the Brock Purdy injury. Second and goal handoffs down to the one. Third and goal, Baltimore. Johnson looking, scrambling to his left. He's brought down. Turner on the sack. And Baltimore will be forced to kick a field goal with Justin Tucker. They will get Lamar Jackson back for this next drive. But Josh Johnson keeps the drive alive and puts Baltimore up by three. New Orleans back with the football. Derek Carr looking for Taysom Hill. And it's picked off by Kyle Hamilton. Just a bad read. And one of the few mistakes Derek Carr has made all night long and Baltimore immediately gets the football deep into Saints territory. Here comes a first and 10 from the 28 yard line. Jackson looking over the middle. There is Mark Andrews. Andrews brought down by Jonathan Abram at the one yard line. So a goal to go opportunity for Baltimore. And again, you know the guy they have in the backfield. Instead, they're gonna throw and I guess so. Jackson to Mark Andrews, their third touchdown of the game for those two. And the Baltimore Ravens go up by 10, 31-21. They have scored at 10 straight, coming out the gates here in this third quarter. The Saints get the football back again, down by those 10 points. Carr will find Alvin Kamara on that little out route. We'll take it. It's a first down to the Baltimore 32-yard line. A minute to go in the third quarter. Here comes a second and six for New Orleans. Carr, play action fake, looking to his right. Oh, man. Uh, that is a bad read on my end. We had Taysom Hill underneath. Instead, Carr tries to force to Rashid Shahid, and Marlon Humphrey comes up with the interception. Baltimore back with the football. They, you know, could put this game away here. A better ball from Jackson to Zay Flowers potentially is a touchdown. Instead, Baltimore with good field positioning going into the fourth quarter, up by 10 points. Our score 31 to 21. New Orleans is going to need something along the lines of a miracle to come home with the victory in the Super Bowl.
Here come the Ravens, third and five from the Saints, 45 yard line, Lamar Jackson finds who else? Mark Andrews for a first down. Again, George Kittle had a monster day last game, the NFC Championship game for the 49ers against the Saints. And oh, Jackson underthrows Zay Flowers, Paulson and Debo at the interception. That is huge. It gets the Saints the football right back. Down by 10, it keeps them alive in this game. Jackson with another underthrow. Paulson and Debo with interception number two in the Super Bowl. But now the Saints have got a score. Second and seven for Derek Carr. He's got all day in the pocket. He tries to make something out of nothing. Scrambles, gets sacked. Third and 19 from their own 10 yard line. Carr looking to throw. He's got Chris Olave. Threads the needle. He's too fast. Gets away from Kyle Hamilton. Look at Olave. Down to the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. Olave is in. It's a 90 yard touchdown for the Saints. Car to Chris Olave. The Saints have cut this lead to three. Now they need a stop on defense. Second and 10, Lamar Jackson over the middle. Mark Andrews continues to feast against the Saints defense. 360 yards passing for Lamar Jackson. Third and three screen to Derrick Henry. Demario Davis sees it the whole way. And the Saints get the stop they need. Football back at the 23 yard line. Derek Carr gonna dump it off to Alvin Kamara. There's a first down to the 40 yard line and a gain of 17. First and 10 at that 40 yard line for Carr looking to his right and he misses Jawan Johnson. Third and 10 New Orleans from the 40. Gotta have it, Derek Carr. He hits that same exact route the second time around. Gets Jawan Johnson for the first down. First and 10 for New Orleans. Quick out route, Jawan Johnson. He's got the first down to the 33. First and 10 at 230 left to play. Here comes a dump off to Rashid Shahid. He's brought down at the 27 yard line. Third and four, play action fake. Carr looking to his left. Oh, he throws it too late. Jawan Johnson gets the catch, but yeah. We gotta take the points. You gotta tie this game. 41 yarder, Blake Groupie makes it. So we are knotted up at 31 to 31. The defense gotta stop last drive, third and nine, Jackson. Oh, I thought Demario Davis had it. Instead, Zay Flowers, excuse me, Rashad Bateman comes down with the football. First and 10, Baltimore. Mark Andrews stays on his feet to the 47, bringing up a second and two for the Ravens. 58 seconds to go, Jackson over the top will find Nelson Aguilar. First and 10 from the 25 for Baltimore. Hand off Derrick Henry, he's got a lane and he is in. Derrick Henry puts the Ravens up by seven, but 40 seconds is a lot of time for this high powered New Orleans offense. They will be given the opportunity and let's go make it happen. Derek Carr gets the football back from his own 42 after a great kickoff return by Kool-Aid McKinstry. First and 10, he will find Rashid Shahidi goes out of bounds at the 50 yard line. Here comes a second and two, 30 seconds to go. In regulation, Carr looking to his left. Got Cedric Wilson Jr. He gets out of bounds. No, he doesn't have to burn a timeout. The 34 yard line, you need to get in the end zone if you are the Saints. Here comes a second and 10. Derek Carr, another drag route to Cedric Wilson Jr. Get outside, he does, out of bounds of the 16. First and 10, New Orleans, Carr out the gun, 14 seconds to go, quick hitter, Rashid Shaheen's in! And the Saints have tied it with 38 seconds to go in regulation. What a drive orchestrated by Derek Carr in the offense. And we look like we are heading to overtime. Baltimore back with it from their own 27 yard line. Jackson, they're just gonna run it. Read option, Lamar keeps. He is brought down at the 35 yard line. They call timeout for a second and one. Two seconds to go. Jackson looking over the top. Oh no. Uh, Rashad Bateman burns Marshawn Lattimore downfield. Who is the safety who came downfield? We were in cover four. Nothing by you. I mean, oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. This is, this is, oh my goodness. The Baltimore Ravens are going to win the Super Bowl on a walk-off touchdown. Lamar Jackson to Rashad Bateman. The Ravens are your Super Bowl 59 champions. They are world champions here in 2024. And just a crushing defeat for the New Orleans Saints, man. I mean, it's just, that's brutal. It's, it's, 
You can't say anything else. At home, you lose the Super Bowl. The Saints become the first team to lose the Super Bowl at home. And again, yeah, it's just a brutal loss. It's a brutal loss. Lamar Jackson gets his first Super Bowl. Uh, you felt like it was coming eventually for the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson. He finally gets it here in 2024. I mean, thrill on one side, agony on the other for Derek Carr and the New Orleans Saints, where again, they will have to recover, bounce back, at least try to in 2025. And again, this is a team with a lot of uncertainties coming into the offseason. I don't know where our cap situation lies. We will see how our guys, who in all fairness, a lot of guys are old, how they do regress. And we're going to have to figure it out tomorrow. Folks, thank you all for watching episode number 21 of the New Orleans Saints franchise mode here on Madden 25. If you haven't yet, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more. Thank you all for watching. And Mamba, forever.